Hello YouTube and welcome to my first YouTube channel. And in today, we are going to be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Rampage. Now, he is very cool in design. I really dig this one. Um, he did look very cool in how he looked in his, um, in his uh, Revenge of the Fallen form in the Deluxe Class line. Which he was like the yellow Rampage. I think his name was Skipjack. But they called him Rampage either way. Although they did do a repaint on this. The exact same one. But it was named uh, differently as Skipjack. Now people normally say that the red one is Skipjack. And the yellow one is Rampage. Wrong. The red one is Rampage. And the yellow one is Skipjack. But you can call him whatever you want. I really don't care. So as you can see the bulldozer form. Looks really nice on Rampage. Um, he's really nice. The The treads don't move like in the old Rampage figure. In, instead, he has wheels that help him roll. He has another one right here. Um, the paint looks really gorgeous on this figure. Um, I do like the, the silver paint that they use on the main shovel here. I don't know what this peg is for. I, I try to look uh, to see what this peg is for and I couldn't find anything um, maybe it's for its combination mode I forgot to mention they did make um, a bunch of uh, Constructicons of the studio series and if you collect them all uh, you can uh, change them into the limb forms and they can actually form Devastator as you can see he forms a leg of Devastator which I'll be getting into a bit uh, the only problem with this is that the paint on mine is starting to scratch off right there if I can get my camera to focus. Um, uh, the paint is starting to scratch off there. I, I, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there. But no problem. Um, I think that's just on mine. But anyway. Um, he does have these two cool um, gray um, horns over here. Uh, these two uh, gray um, things here. He has his, um, the cool... Um, the the driver's seat and everything uh these uh you would see in a regular bulldozer with like little metal chains or things sticking out but they look really cool uh you unfortunately you cannot lift the shovel up i've been messing with this thing and you can't um it would be cool if the if you have the ability to swiv the move the shovel up and down but uh no you can't so yeah, he's really nice. Um, of course, he's a Voyager class figure for being one. And um, yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut the crap and move on to his transformation. What I like to begin to the transformation is first, you're going to want to come up back here to the pegs and you're going to want to unpeg these treads on the bottom and just leave them down. Oh, and also... Uh, this thing just pegs in on the bottom. This thing is uh, a little thing that will be used later on in the transformation. I'll show you guys that in a bit. Alright, now we're going to come here to the sides. So we're going to go ahead and hinge these down. Like that. Just They, they just tab in like this and you're just going to hinge these all the way down. Now th this will allow you to get a... This will allow you to uh, separate this. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, before you do that, uh, make sure to hinge these things up like that. Like this. And um, um, this will allow you to separate this whole section. Now, as you can see, it's starting to get really big. I don't have a extra camera because my camera stand doesn't extend all the way up so I don't know how that's a problem um, that's gonna be a problem but um, I'll try to figure that that out later so huh let's see um, you're gonna want to grab and you're gonna want to hinge him up like that until he's facing uh, I'm gonna have to sorry, until he's facing forward like that okay it's perfect next you're gonna want to detach this section um, you're gonna uh, just trust me on this one. you're gonna want to detach this Hinge this down, and this will actually carry this thing up, and and you're going to want to tab this back into place and hinge this up. Um, these things you're going to want to 
to have these in forward like that. Okay. It's starting to get a little big. Um, okay. Let's see if I can move to a different camera. To a different camera stand. Um, I do have some untamed um, things on the back. Um, but don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can get something. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this crappy thing because I don't have an uh because my camera sense doesn't extend all the way up. But no. I'm gonna have to use this. Okay, perfect. Okay. So let me just get this out of the way. Okay. Okay, so to uh next step you're gonna want to uh focus here on this arm. You're going to want to detach this section here and then just lift it up. Take this finger. You're going to want to hinge it all the way forward like that. And you want to take this piece and you're going to want to take this whole section and you're going to want to um, peg like that. And you're just going to want to leave it like that. On the back, there's like this little thing. You're going to want to detach this and um, peg it like that and hinge this down all the way down and that will become like a some sort of claw looking hand and you're gonna wanna uh, leave the tread here like that and that's an arm for rampage uh, the only problem is I have this finger is just a bit loose um, which is a little bummer but no problem same here at the arm um, take this the finger Hinge all the way forward. Oh, I forgot. Uh, take this and just... There's like two different peg slots. Um, there's like a little peg slot right there. You're going to want to peg it in on the top right there. Next, you're going to want to take the finger. Obviously, you're going to hinge it down. Uh, take this. Um, just leave it there. I don't know why I unpegged the other one, but... Unhinge this like that and rotate him, rotate him around. Take this and unpeg, untab, and then hinge this all the way down. Okay. Um, ha. Huh. So you're going to want to take the tread and just leave it off to the side like that. Okay. So as you can see, certain to form look like Rampage. Uh, you're going to want to push this wheel thing in. Because, you know, he doesn't have that in the robot mode. Uh, okay. Now, the, the the last step is... I wish he could stand. This is why you need... Uh, this is why the last step is important. You're going to want to have this. Because, obviously, Rampage does not have any legs. So, you're going to want to take this piece and hinge it out. And this is actually going to be a little stand for Rampage. Because, obviously, he can't stand. Because he has this giant drill pogo stiff looking thing. Um, so, yeah. So you're gonna wanna, there's a peg down there, and there's a peg there, you're gonna wanna peg this in, like so, whoopsie, like so, uh, like that, and that'll help them stand, and once you're done, there is Rampage in his, wow, in his really cool robot mode, if I can get this camera to hinge up. And there we go. There is Rampage in his robot mode. He looks really cool. And as always, um, he does look... Um, Hasbro did do a very good job on this detailing on Rampage. He does look like Rampage in The Revenge of the Fallen, in which Bumblebee fought. There's so much detail. I really love the paint on this one. As you can see, the paint, there's the same silver paint on his mouth. And there's more of that black paint around his eyes. Now, what they did change about the Studio Series figures is that they took off the light, the light piping that they had in the original toys. But no problem, there the eyes are just painted. As you can see, he has this very long, like kind of like this spine-looking neck piece. Um, that's like that's really cool. Obviously, it. You can't really do too much with him, obviously, with the fact that um, he uh, does have really nice deal telling. Um, the this looks the the piece looks really nice on the uh, the on the pogo stick. I think um, 
Um, I'm just gonna take this off of the review for the moment. Um, uh, this I like. I really like the silver paint. There's like a little spring in there that helps them jump around, which I really, I really do. Uh, I really do like that. Um, there's a. Uh, the outlining of this of the drill thing in the original uh toy you can actually separate these and turn them into legs this one doesn't have that so yeah uh on the back this does um this chunk of plastic kind of gives it away on the back i really don't agree with that but it kind of you know it kind of looks ugh but on the back, there's nothing to see here. It's just this and the shovel. The arms look really nice, obviously. Um, this is actually like the little, like the weapon that, like, in the it, 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 when you see like Rampage and Bumblebee fighting, he actually uses this as like one of his like treads to smack Bumblebee with. And he does have um, these giant, ginormous claw-looking hands. Um, which I never actually, to be honest, I never seen him have in the movie. Um, the only thing I only seen him was uh, have that gun when he was pointing it at Sam's parents. Um, yeah. So it's really cool that he has that. Uh, so, yeah, I, I really do love the red paint. And, yeah, th uh, that that's that's what I like it. So in terms of of your of articulation, I'm gonna stand him like that, and I'm gonna hang this forward like that. All right. In terms of articulation that Rampage has, he doesn't have that much. Uh, his arms can go out and in. They can also swivel like this. Like that, back and forth, they can rotate all the way around. Like so. And the the biceps right here, not the biceps, but the, the shoulder can move in and out. Like that. And the, the arm also swivels all the way around. Uh, the fingers do move, the, 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 the little... Finger pointer fingers on a only moves back and forth. The finger moves back and forth. This just moves back and forth. Also with this finger, uh, he does have some waist articulation, which you can turn him like that, which not that far because you know because the things are blocking him. He can also hinge forward and back, and if you want to, you can ratchet this back like that and have him like you know like a like that. So yeah, um, he's really cool. He does not have, um, he does have articulation in his head. His head is on a ball joint and his neck can only move up back and forth like that. I mean, up and down. And he has this little like neck, like swivel thing like that. It can go back and forth like this, which is actually really quiet. I really do dig that. So yeah, um, that's Rampage. Um, I'm gonna give you a closer look at how he looks like. So yeah, that's how Rampage looks like. Um, I'll be doing more uh, Studio Series reviews on the future, and I'll also be reviewing more action figures. I'm not gonna be only reviewing Transformers, but I'm also gonna review uh, uh, action figures on my channel. But okay, okay. So that is his. Um, so that is his. Uh, Robot mode. Now I'm gonna show you how to transform him, but I have to make this quick because I don't want this video to be really long. So now I'm gonna transform him into his combined mode. So to transform him into his combined mode, you're gonna wanna remove obviously this. Whoopsie. You're gonna remove that. So to to start, you're gonna want to huh. So you're gonna start here at the arms. You're gonna want to uh, unpeg this and leave that up. Um, now you're gonna wanna rotate. I'm gonna wanna rotate this like that. Oh, uh, also, um, keep this, uh, also hinge this forward if you have the chance. Unpeg this section and it just rotate like that. And then this will, this will just peg this and I'm trying to see if I can get this to work. Hold up. 
it was it, I was kind of you know oh I forgot um put away put away this thing because you won't need it oh, I'm gonna have to fuck, damn it uh transforming him into his combined moves not easy um you're gonna wanna that you're gonna wanna hinge this down hinge this down and peg this back into place like that okay now we can rotate this around. And we can go ahead and just lift this up, get this out of the way, hinge this up, and then you're gonna want to kind of peg this into place like that. It will kind of, it will kind of be tricky, but okay, there we go, we we did it. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. Oh wait, it's it's this way, right? Yes, it's this way. Okay. Woof. Okay. So, like that. You're going to want to... It's going to be like that. And you're going to want to keep this in there. And you're going to want to hinge this finger all the way up like that. And you're going to want to peg in the wheel back into place. Like that. Now, focusing on the other... Oh, wait. Also, just move this out of the way and just peg this in. Peg, the, peg in the the thing gonna focus here on the other arm gonna want to unpeg this section rotate it uh, gonna want to move this aside like that I'm gonna want to hinge this whoopsie I almost broke it okay like that ow I can pinch kind of pinch myself there like that and they'll peg in place and you're gonna want to Peg the wheel in place. Whoop, I'm just trying to... Whoops. Trying to get this into place. Try to peg in the wheel in this place, but it doesn't want to go in. There we go. Uh, move this to the side. Peg this, the, the wheel back into place. Um, take this and uh, hinge it. Um, hinge it all the way around like that. Hinge it. There's a little tab that will connect to this piece right there. There's a little tab right there. If my camera can catch it up. There's a little tab right there. Which will tab in this tab right there. And this tab will tab in to that tab underneath. So... Like that. And you're going to want to, again, hinge the finger all the way. Like that. Keep this off to the side. And you should have you should have the arms like that, basically. Uh, rotate him upside down. And this is where it gets kind of fun. Okay. So, and to, um, let's see. Uh, oh, also, um, um, take these and take this thing. Put it down, and you're going to want to peg it in like so. There we go. Do the same here. Take this, peg it in. There we go. Now you're going to want to... You, this can't get a little tricky. You have to make sure that these two actually align together. There's like a little tab which will tab into that hole, and you can kind of push it in there like so. And you'll create what looks like a leg. And also take this part and then ratchet it all the way back like that. Oh, I forgot. Uh, push th push this down and then take this take this uh, piece and just leave it up like that. Um, get everything in secured like that. Once you're done, there you have Rampage. In his com leg combined mode. Oh, I, of course, if you want to, you can put in um, the, the stand. Um, if you want to, you you uh, if you want to, you can. There's these like little tabs that will go in. Um, they will uh peg in to place like so. They'll also peg in that kind of not tricky to peg them in but they're kind of difficult to peg them in okay there we go and just you know just 
put that down. That actually kind of looks... Uh, I mean, I actually, I'd rather keep this off just because I don't want it like, it, it kind of looks horrible like that. It, it just gives away like that. So there, there's uh, Rampage in his uh, Devastator combined mode. Uh, there's like a little connector joint right there, which will uh, overload, I guess, will connect to that. And this will just rest into that. So I'm assuming it will just, you know... We'll just walk like that. Uh, long haul, on the other hand, um, I'll be getting soon and I'll be re uh, doing a review on you for you guys. But yeah, he's really cool. The leg actually looks really awesome. Look, looks like it did a pretty good job on this combined mode. Um, they did do, uh, like I said, they did do a repaint on this guy, which is Skipjack. Um, people are using Skipjack for Devastator for his leg mode. Uh, I actually prefer to use Rampage just because it looks really cool. That's just my opinion. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, these can are detachable. I forgot. I'm sorry, guys, I forgot. But these things are, are supposed to be his little guns in his robot mode. These will, like, attach on his hands and they will be, like, his, like, you know, his guns, if I can get a closer look. This will kind of, like, be his gun. And there's, like, a peg. Uh, my camera can just catch it. Um, There we go. That's the piece right there. Like that. And there's, like, a little peg where you can peg it in. It's actually really small. I, I, I wish it was a bit larger. But these don't do a good job picking in. But, you know. But, like, like that, like I said, you just, you know, peg them in. Back into place like that. And then we just peg in the side like that. Okay, so now since we got everything out of the way, um, why don't we say we transform him into his... Uh, uh, let's transform him back into his bulldozer, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so to transform him back, you're going to want to, again, remove the treads. And you're going to want to detach this section here. Change this down, change this down, rotate this up, like that, unhook this piece, like this, and then spread it out. Uh, take, just, you know, just hinge it up and just keep it like that. Okay, so, uh, to, alright, um, hey, uh, move this finger off to the side, untab this, the wheel, lift it up. You're going to want to rotate it forward like that. Oh, also, um, uh, hinge it like this. Um, hinge it like that. Um, put it all the way forward like that. Like so. And you're going to want to peg it in. Actually, no, hinge this, move this down. And you're going to want to peg this there's like a little peg up there. You want to peg it in back into place like that. Do the same here. Take this. Move this finger out of the way. Untab this. Move this up. Trying to unpeg this section. Which is really tricky to do. You need a bigger door. Sorry, Onslaught reference from the last night. Her, uh, this is this part can get a bit tricky. I'm trying my best because I don't want to break it. This actually this actually locks in really securely. This actually tabs in good. So um, I apologize if I try to remove this. Like that figure, unpeg it. Actually, I'm trying to unpeg it, but it won't budge. Come on, man, rampage! Come on. Uh, okay. Uh, whoopsie. Okay. Okay, this is not pegging off. Okay, um, hold on guys, uh, I'll be back. Okay guys, I finally got this thing to unpeg. This thing is a nightmare. That's the peg that it pegs in very securely, but, ah, uh, the peg is still in place, so I didn't break it, so. Like I said, uh, like I said, take this, hinge this forward like that, turn around, just forward like this. Actually, I'll hinge this down, 
and then peg this in back into place like that. Okay, now you're gonna want to push this in, um, and you're gonna want to um, hinge this forward like that. God, this video is gonna take forever. Only holy shit, twenty five minutes. I'm sorry about my language, but um, like that. You're gonna want to hinge them down. You're gonna want to rotate them around. Take these pieces and just leave them. Unpeg these and leave them out. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're gonna take. We're gonna take the this and we're just gonna. We're gonna take this. And we're gonna hinge it, take the finger and hinge it like that. Uh, peg in the wheel into place like that. And then just close in the, the treadmill or whatever the hell you want to call it. And uh, this, this part is a little tricky. Uh, there is a, a little uh, peg right there. And there's a peg on his finger right just there. And you're going to want to align that up because that that peg has to peg into that peg. So you're going to want to align it. Let's see if I can get it. Um, I'm going to try to try to my best to show you guys. Okay. I think you guys can kind of see that's starting to peg in like that. Okay. It pegged in. Now you're going to want to uh, do it. You want to take this and... And you want to tab this in, and you want to leave that pegged like that. Do the same here. Take this, hinge it down, hinge this up like that. Whoopsie. Uh, remove this like that, and you're gonna want to again peg, Mimi. and you're gonna want to okay. You want to. Peg this. In. Sorry, guys. That's my sister calling my dog. Um. Anyway, you're gonna wanna hinge these down. Align that up. Peg this in. That. Peg in the trap. Oh, I mean. Peg this in. Like that. Ugh. And, uh, like that, get everything situated, like that. Also, take, uh, oh, I forgot, take the stand and just pick it in, back into place like this. <sighs> like that. Like that, get everything situated. And there you have Rampage in, back into his bulldozer mode. I really, I really do enjoy this, um, uh, I really do enjoy this Rampage uh, Studio Series figure. He really did. Uh, Hasbro did really did a good job on the sculpting, and um, I'm, uh, I hope to review more Studio Series figures in the future. Um, Blackout is actually a figure I'm looking forward to review, but again, he's like gonna be a leader class figure, and he's gonna be huge, so that's gonna be kind of a problem. But it's uh, either way, it's okay. So yeah, that's Rampage, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, uh, if you guys want to pick up Rampage for yourself, uh, I did find him at Target. Uh, Target and Wa uh, also I also did find him at Tar uh, at Target at Walmart, and um, I also as long as I also did see Scrapper, uh, Overload, and uh, Scavenger, and. Um, uh, next, I probably will review Scrap Metal or your High Tower next, which both will be deluxe. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.